Good morning. Okay guys, before this video starts, uh, I just wanted to let you know I basically do my Tekken 7 streams on Twitch now. So I basically do gameplay streams on Twitch. Uh, I'll leave the description, I'll leave the links in my description so all the links to my social medias are in my description. I'm not streaming at the moment but I will start streaming back from the 16th of August because I need to wait for my dongle to get uh, um, added with more data basically. So yeah, future gaming streams will be on my twitch which i will be linking in the description so all the links are there also make sure to follow my discord that's where i have a tekken 7 squad where we talk about tekken related content giving tips on uh, how to get better or like what frames it's, uh, anything related to tekken is based in that tekken 7 squad discord server which i will link also in the description below make sure to check that out if you want if you want any um, friendly advices on tekken or discuss anything related to tekken in general make sure to follow me there or add me there so yeah all right guys uh so this is the video of me in my first ever second tekken 7 tournament and a little bit of season 3 breakdown hope you guys enjoy let's go what's going on guys brew after here uh today i attended my first ever tekken 7 tournament and boy was it an experience it was amazing i got to meet a lot of new people i got to see a different list of uh play styles uh, got to see some of famous faces like King J, Tishimon, and it was an experience. I'm glad I went. And will I go for future tournaments? Definitely. Here are the reasons why. So, being in this tournament made me realize how how on this, uh, how big on the skill level I am. So basically, players that I've seen at the tournament are basically on this level. And I'm, oops, actually, hold on. Uh, yeah. So, players are on this level, and I'm here. Yeah, literally, I'm here. There's no way of going. There's no way of me reaching here without any further practice. So basically, what this tournament has let me know uh, or taught me is that I gotta do my best, grind my ass, and practice. I, I don't care if this video gets demonetized or if it gets cut down, but I want you to speak my mind. Uh, did I did I have good matches? No, I didn't. I had good matches. Yes, I did have good matches, but Did I win any? I won one set in losers. That's it. That's how tough the competition was and here I thought oh look I have Negan and I'm really good with Negan. No, no, no my friend. That is not the case. That is not the case so Basically, I've, I played against this guy called Harun and he played Anna basically he is a really he, he attends a lot of tournaments uh, he's a tournament player, so basically he attended a Tekken World Tour and stuff like that. So this guy's playstyle was insanely amazing. So basically he knew every frame, he knew how to punish, he knew, he knew what to do. He was a uh, pack dash, front dash, wave dash, whatever you want to call it, was on point. So what I'm saying is, if you ever want to go for a tournament, don't go with the mindset that you're going to actually win the tournament. You got to keep your expectations really low, really low. Basically, the thing, I don't know about you guys, but that's my personal opinion. I, I really kept my opinion personally low. And I, w I would be lying if I'd say I was nervous. I was nervous. It was my first tournament after all. But it was a good one. It was a good one. Uh, huge shout out to uh, Leo. Basically, he's on my Discord. If you guys uh, you guys might know Street Fighter FPS, you might know him as Glitchama on the Discord. So he also attended and... We had casual matches. We had uh, we had we had a really good fun time uh, overall. And there was this guy from Netherlands who attended as well. He came all the way from Netherlands to join the tournament in UK. That's right. Um, he's uh, basically he is in the disco server as well. So he played a really good gin. He was a really good gin player. And, and believe it or not, it was his first ever tournament. And it was and Tekken Seven was his first ever Tekken game. Believe it or not. Uh, guys he was his wave dashes his uh, electrics everything movement everything on point uh, this is also what I've come to realize as well the most of the people I've talked to about season 3 or Zofina if you guys can see on the top here I've asked them what do you think about Zofina what do you think about season 3 but most uh, the response I got was people say that 
they don't know who Zafina is because Tekken 7 is their first ever Tekken. So seeing Zafina in Season 3 is a good thing because uh, they get a, a new perspective on a new character who was there in previous games. So and basically she has new moves and stuff like that. She has Zazel's arm. And also we got a new original character called Leroy Smith who is basically Ip Man. He's basically Ip Man and Vang combined together. Will I be maining Zafina? Yes, I will be because I wanted Zafina back in Tekken 7 and thank you Bandai Namco and Michael Murray for putting her in there. I don't care what other people think about, oh, Zafina, is, uh, they shouldn't have put Zafina in the game, but no, listen, we got the character, deal with it, right? Deal with the character. I don't care what you think or what you not think. So you, you either gonna play her or don't play her. I'm gonna play her, definitely. But uh, since Tekken 6, Safina wasn't mostly rarely used because it was incredibly weak in Tekken 6 or Tekken Tag 2. I hope she gets really good buffs in Tekken 7 and people actually play Zafina. I would really like to see that. Uh, and I, I would really like to see Zafina in tournaments as well. And not like Lei who had uh, who was introduced in Tekken 7 and who had a little bit of character usage. That's what uh, Mr. Harada was complaining as well. He was really upset that people who didn't play people requested Lei and didn't have, didn't end up playing him. So <clears throat> hopefully that doesn't turn out like that. And Zafina will really be played along with other characters who are going to be coming for the next season three as well. And we are getting a new mode as well for Tekken 7. It could be Tekken Ball, it could be Tekken Ball, it could be Tekken Force or anything like that. Whatever it is, I know that Bandai Namco will make the fans happy or uh, whatever they try to implement will be really good. So that's all I got to say. I just wanted to share my experience from my first ever tournament on how competitively it's based and a little bit of brief uh, breakdown on the season, new season 3 as I just did a reaction video for it and yeah guys that's all i gotta say let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know uh if you guys attended any tournaments how was your first tournament or what do you think about zafina being in tekken 7 season 3 and leroy smith uh anything related to tekken 7 season 3 and tekken tournaments in the comments below let me know uh and that's all i gotta say you guys are awesome thanks for watching my videos that being said stay safe peace Legends never die.